So this is the crayon base that I made a little over a week ago. And one of the top comments that I received was that I should do something with the wrappers. In fact, a lot of you said that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some of these. All right, so what I have here are 33 crayon wrappers. And obviously I'm using 33 because 33 is the year that hobbits come of age. And everyone knows that hobbits are small creatures that have a big impact in the world. Just like crayons are small items that can have a big impact in our lives. No, I'm using 33 because they fit nicely in the bottom of this cup. Now, how do I know they fit nicely in the bottom of this cup? Ha 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 ha. I did a test run. And as you can see, it didn't go so well. <laughs> but I did find out that 33 crayons is a good the solid way to bottom. get these into some sort of a shape is to just use a couple of rubber bands. Doesn't really matter what shape they're in. Once you put the rubber band on it, it'll push in from equal sides with equal pressure and give you more or less a round shape. And honestly, I think that this is the angle that makes these the coolest. This sort of crayon wrapper end grain. It's got a very interesting look to it. I think it would also work really well for an inlay. Think of a shallow box lid, pour a little resin in there, put these in standing straight up. Once it dries, just kind of cut them all off. You'd have a pretty cool looking inlay. Today, we're gonna to turn it on the lathe. I know that is a huge surprise. I think two inches by two inches should be more than enough blank for our bottle stopper. So I'm going to use this mixing cup as my mold. All we really need to do now is just mix up the resin. I'm going to use three pumps of resin and three pumps of hardener. So you can see some of the wrappers are actually hitting this ridge right here. There's actually a ridge. And so I'm just gonna try to push them all down. I want the casting to be two inches. I'm gonna add a little bit more resin to get it to two inches. Now what it's not doing is it's not going into the actual holes. So what I need to do is lift this whole thing out a little bit. And when I push it back down, it'll fill up the holes of the wrapper. All right, here we go, back down in. All right, I am almost at two inches. I think we can work with that. Okay, so here is attempt number one, and I used around six ounces of resin in this, and as you can see, it just overheated, the cup got extremely hot, um, and the whole thing just almost boiled itself into this state. So on attempt number two, I used closer to four ounces of resin, and I got a better casting, but it still overheated and created these horrible bubbles. My theory for why this happened is that there's so much surface area here. Each one of these is an individual cup. Uh, it just got too hot, overheated, and boiled itself into this mess. So for attempt number three, I actually switched over to polyester resin. Now, polyester resin is not my favorite, but it has the advantage that you can alter the catalyst. So you can put lower amounts of catalyst in for the volume that you're doing. And as you can see, it worked out pretty well. So I'm gonna orient it this direction. This will be the bottom, and this will be the top. All right, face shield on. Let's do a little turning. my first time turning with carbide tools, so forgive me, I'm a bit of a novice with these. Uh, I've made lots of bottle stoppers and I always make interesting shapes, but I think this is more about the materials and less about the shape. So I'm just gonna try to get rid of all these ugly bits, turn those down, and then I'm just gonna round over the top. And 
and this is where we can get some really nasty catches and destroy everything. Very happy with that. Looks really good. I'm going to hit it with some micro mesh and call it done. All right, so I'm going to start with the micro mesh. It starts at 1500 and goes through 12,000. Ooh, I did not think it was going to look like that. You just never know until it's polished. That is a winner. And the assembly process is fairly straightforward. Simply glue a dowel into the bottle stopper and then glue the cork onto the dowel. And you get yourself a really cool looking bottle stopper. All right, so how do we do? I feel like we did really well. I really love the way this came out. It almost reminds me of glass. I'm certainly pleasantly surprised. I did not expect it to look quite this good. So thank you again for your comments because I'm not sure I would have done anything with them had you not commented that. And I think this is a winner. I've also been getting a lot of questions about how the bacon is holding up after, what, six months? Looks pretty good to me. I honestly can't tell the difference from the first day it was cast. All right, and a quick update on the rainbow bud base. Many of you mentioned it would be problematic on furniture, and that's a really good point. So I went ahead and I put resin on the bottom, and um, so now it won't leave marks. The other thing is, a lot of you mentioned that it, it's going to melt. Now, I've got a lot of crayons in my house, and none of them have just melted. Don't put it in a window, don't put it in your car, but the melting point is 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And if your house is that hot, well, I'm sorry. M mine's not. <laughs> So again, I want to thank you very much for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for sharing. I really appreciate that, and we got another dip it in the can. I'll catch you next time.